Hello and wow, it's been a month since I last posted a Royal High cosplay video. Well, I'm back in time to make some Valentine's accessories at least. I just want to quickly remind everyone that I have a Royal High craft contest happening until March. This video on screen has all of the information about the contest. If you have any questions, just comment it on that video. So far, there's been 9 entries on Twitter and 4 entries submitted to the Google form. Honestly, guys, you have no idea how happy it makes me to see other people recreating Royal High items and I can't wait to make the video for all of the entries to be uh, featured in. I'm also hoping to reach 50,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so if you are a regular viewer of mine and you'd like to just show that little extra support, subscribing to the channel, liking and commenting on videos does that. Obviously none of these actions cost any money or too much of your time and it just lets me know you like my creations and it also means you have a higher chance of seeing more of my videos on your YouTube homepage. But anyway, to the topic of today's video. So of course I'm making the Elegance Rose Corsage today. This is a very easy item to make, so you may find that you can use this video as a tutorial. So let's get into it. I started by positioning the roses how I thought I'd have them on the actual corsage, and I took notes of the measurements. So I got the length and the width. With those two measurements, I started marking two rectangles down on just some random cotton fabric I had. And then I rounded the edges off with a little like spool of thread, but you can just use anything. And then you just kind of cut it out very roughly. Of course, you need to have your um, seam allowance. As you can see, I've already folded it and started pinning it. This is so that when I go to sew it, it doesn't start moving around all over the place. When sewing, I make sure to leave a little gap so I can turn the fabric inside out. Before I turned it inside out, I just cut off all of the excess fabric around the edges. And then I just turned it inside out. After that, I just very quickly sewed up the little hole. Now moving on to the lace part, so just very quickly measured my wrist and wrote it down. I cut the lace in like a very thin strip using the masking tape as like a, a guide so I didn't cut too much or too little. And then I just measured a strip of uh, the same length as the measurement I got earlier for my wrist and just checked it. I attached one side of the lace down by just hand sewing it on. I made sure it was on there pretty tight and that it wouldn't like uh, break off or anything. And with the other side, I just sewed on a little uh, snap button so I'd be able to 
take the corsage uh, off and on. Now it was time to sew on all of the decorative lace pieces. On one side there's just like, I think it's supposed to look like a bow or something, but here's me just cutting out the, the bits for that. <laughs> Not much I can say about it. Of course I sewed that down, but then I also started uh, cutting more lace strips out and kind of making a little loop with them and then sewing those down. And here's how it looked after all the lace was put on. Now, for the last step, we're gonna have to move to Instagram live stream footage because my idiot self didn't realise that I hadn't pressed the record button on my camera until that moment there, after I had finished gluing everything down. So, yeah, sorry for the, uh, the strange angle and the the phone and proportions lands no is portrait <laughs> but anyway shout out to the like four people who were there watching that live stream just watching me cry in my seat because i forgot to press record <laughs> Again, I'm really sorry about the bad angle, but I'm just working with the live stream footage that I have. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just trying to figure out how I wanted to position the flowers uh, before I glued them down. Now, just that extra little thing, my glue gun decided that it didn't want to, like, take the glue stick in, so I had to keep like trying to push it into the heater because the trigger thing on the um, glue gun just wasn't working. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get a new glue gun. <laughs> but here is the footage of me struggling with it. And here is the finished item. Now of course I went all out with the outfit. I'm in like full royal high cosplay here and that's because I wanted to make some TikToks so if you go over to my TikTok there will be TikToks there, new ones. <laughs> and because this is a Valentine's item why not uh, model with the parasol because I mean I I don't know how else to model with something that is on my hand <laughs> so why not throw a prop in there but like always let me know what you think of the rose corsage I already know I'm gonna get a ton of comments about the parasol as I always do whenever I include it in a video but yeah here is the look if you'd like to see more of this outfit it will be on my tiktok like i said and here i accidentally hit my crown i was attempting to kind of throw the parasol over my shoulder but it didn't quite work with the crown there so uh, <laughs> i'm also planning to make a 2021 uh, valentine's item uh, next week if there are any but yeah I just thought I'd let you know also be sure to follow me on all of my other social media here's my Roblox profile and I also have a group and here is my TikTok account you should also be able to find the TikToks on my cosplay account and I also have an art account on Instagram and Twitter is where I'm most active, so follow me there if you want to see me, I don't know, be active 
somewhere. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.